Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am filming my March haul video for you guys. I have so much new makeup, it's coming out of my ears and it's time to film, get these baskets emptied out so I can play with this makeup and give you guys some reviews. So if you're interested in seeing all the new stuff I picked up, just keep watching. First thing I bought, I'm already using this. I actually bought this twice because I really, really enjoyed the first one. This is a Laneige Special Care Lip Sleeping Mask in the, sh in the scent or in the taste, I don't know, apple lime. So I actually bought this originally when Kathleen Lights talked about it and told everyone how much she loved it. And I didn't really enjoy it. I, I don't know what it was. I didn't feel like it was hydrating my lips very well or anything like that. And then I saw they did apple lime as a limited edition flavor in like a Christmas bundle. And I was like, no, I'm not buying a whole set just to try the one flavor I actually want. And so I was like, whatever. Then I think I saw it on Instagram or something and I was gonna buy it on the Laneige website, but then I actually ended up Googling it and I found it on Amazon for like way cheaper. So if you guys are looking to try this and you don't wanna shell out what like the 20 something dollars that it cost at Sephora, I would recommend checking my Amazon favorites down in my description box or you can just Google it, I guess, or whatever. But yeah, I love this so, so much. I actually bought a second one so that I can keep one at my desk at work. And it's so cold here in Fargo right now that it's totally helping my lips out and I'm so happy I gave that product another chance. The next thing I have been loving, you guys, I wore this twice already since I received it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Icon Palette. I'm yet to do a video on this. I wanna do like a look and a review but I haven't been able to, but I wore this twice since receiving it. I did do a swatch party video. I'll try and remember to link that up in the cards for you guys. And I'm not gonna lie, when I did the swatch party video, I was like, are you sure you're gonna like this palette? Like, it looks so, like, it looks okay. It kinda looks basic, like that's the word I'm thinking of when I wanna describe this palette. But it is so nice to use, you guys. If you are looking to buy like one bougie palette, for the year, I would recommend this. The shades are so buttery. The mattes blend so beautifully. It's unreal. I've been using this shade, this shade, and this shade a lot in the crease, and then I just use one of the shimmer shades on my eyelids, and it just creates such a beautiful, work-appropriate, classy, shimmery eye. So, so excited to have this. I didn't know what to expect, but I love it. The packaging's gorgeous, so if you're looking for a beautiful palette, I would totally recommend that one. I feel like I just did a whole review on that thing for you guys. The next thing I picked up, I did do a swatch party on this guy as well. This is the Tarte High Tides and Good Wives eyeshadow palette. Uh, this is what the inside of it looks like. So beautiful, a little bit different for Tarte, so I was excited to try it. This palette feels so well made. It's nice and heavy. The mattes are nice and buttery. The shimmers are pretty creamy feeling, so I'm really excited to see if Tarte's made any changes to their formula. It's been a hot second since I've tried anything from them, so excited to give that beauty a go. More palettes that I've already featured on my channel. You guys went nuts for the look I created using the Sugar Crystals palette by Violet Voss. That made me feel really good about myself. Thank you guys so much for your kind words on that. So far, I really love the mattes in this palette, and I need to give it more chances but i have so many palettes so i've been using i've been trying to use so many different ones but i do really like this palette and i do i am happy i got my hands on that and then the palette i'm wearing today is the abh rivera palette i filmed using this guy first impressions video um should be up already but uh yeah beautiful palette definitely different for abh you can probably see all the eyeshadow kick up from the last time i filmed with this but yeah, this is a fun one for spring and summer. I'm glad they did something different. I got more palettes. <laughs> this one is the BH Cosmetics Daisy Marquez collab, and it's kind of beautiful. Like, I don't know. I was just really feeling the Tiffany blue and the shades. I wasn't sure so much about the smoky shades up here, but I wanted to give it a try. I kind of dig the weird packaging. The mirror portion's actually very much heavier than this part. This is very light. So I'm guessing you could probably depop this if you wanted, but I kind of like that she tried something different. It is a little bit bulky, but it's not like the end of the world. So if you don't mind that, I think you would enjoy trying something like that out. I also bought a bunch of ultra-bodded lips. I'm actually wearing 
um, this one on my lips, I think. I don't know. It's this color. This is the color I'm wearing today. This is Little Star by Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. And yeah, I bought some of their other stuff too. I already took them out of the packaging. Um, so I've been using all of that. I also tried their new Luxe lipstick in the Formula Velvet Blur. This is the shade Super Bloom, and I'm actually wearing this shade in my Violet Voss video with the Sugar Crystals palette, and you guys really like that shade too, so just so you guys know, I like that. I did buy some Pixi products. I picked up these Glimmer Shadows. I have the shade Lagoon, and I picked up the green one as well. Those are somewhere trying to be waiting to get used. Here's the box for the Kathleen Light Slippy. And then here is Y2K, that's the other ColourPop Velvet Blur I bought. Okay, here is a brush from BH that I picked up just to hit like a free shipping mark. This is the brush number five pointed crease. I can never have too many crease brushes. And this actually looks pretty well made, so I'm definitely gonna throw that into my uh, makeup rotation. I did rebuy the Soul Tree palette by ABH. This is the palette from, was it Holiday this year? And I really enjoyed this palette, but I didn't really think I could justify the price because I really like the shimmers, but the mattes didn't make sense to me with the shimmers. I felt like the matte shades were more cool tone, the shimmers were more warm tone for me, so I was just like really not enjoying using them together, but I feel like since I got it on sale, I feel like I could just use the shimmers and not feel bad about spending like 40 bucks on a palette and only using the shimmers or only using the mattes, so that's what I did. And here is the actual product. Sorry, I was just showing you guys packaging because I had unpacked some of this stuff, so anyway, just wanted to show you that. Here's the box for the Sugar Crystals palette. Also picked up some of these guys from BH Cosmetics. I wanna do some swatch parties. I bought all of the little Zodiac palettes so far. So we have Aquarius. Was this the first one? No, Capricorn was the first one, which is the blues. We have Capricorn, which is my star sign for December that everyone was pissed about, said it was super boring. And then we have Pisces, which is the one I really wanted, which is this beaut. And I want to do a look with that for you guys as well. Very excited. Then I placed an order with Profusion because I saw somebody talk about this palette. And this is a $5 palette and it's like full of bright colors. And then it was a $25 shipping minimum so I bought one for you guys. So watch out for a upcoming giveaway. And then I decided let me just get more palettes. So I got the shimmers, the sapphires, and the blush and glow and all of these were five bucks a piece so if I use them I use them otherwise you'll see all of these in a giveaway or whatever I don't know I was feeling feeling some kind of way here's my other Laneige box and then the last few things I bought I did cave and buy the dose of colors Mickey Mouse eyeshadow palette because I really wanted this and they restocked it which I wasn't expecting them to do so I was like, heck yeah, why not? I really love Dose and I liked this palette. I think I saw Jessica Braun review it, so kind of different, kind of more deep tones. So I will keep you guys posted on that and use it on my channel, obviously. Picked up the Brown Sugar palette. I have already been using this and loving it. It's actually right here on my vanity. Oh my gosh, so good. I showed this in my Naked Reloaded review and told you guys that this was definitely better than the 40 something dollar Naked Reloaded palette. So I sent the Naked Reloaded back and I'm sticking to brown sugar and I also have the Just My Luck palette on its way to me so I'm so excited for that. And then here is this little Maybelline palette. I don't really love these but this one really caught my eye because of the shades. So interested in trying that out and then I found these Pixie by Petra glitter quads they're called glittery eye quads at my Target store and they were on clearance for nine dollars a piece and they're usually 14 and they had three beautiful shades there's like a purpley one called what is this one called oh here uh, rose bronze this one is called Gold Lava, and then this one is called Blue Pearl. 
super duper cute. This is the KKW Classic Blossom Palette. My friend Nethmi loves KKW Beauty, and I think I saw Teresa is Dead maybe review this palette as well, so I was like, just hand it over, whatever. It's on sale, I'll buy it, whatever. So I did buy that as well. So that is everything for my March haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy haul videos. And let me know what new product you've picked up recently down in the comments. I love talking to you guys there. So I will catch you in my next video. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. Bye.